Hey friends, so here's another video in my camera crawler build series. Please remember to like the video if you enjoy it and to subscribe to my channel and check out the playlist because that's how I organize the different things that I'm doing. All right, so we've got a Turnigy TGY i6. I'm gonna pop the batteries out. I'm using rechargeables on it. They work just fine. And the issue is the front works, but the, oh, the, the left stick has a spring still. So we're going to remove that spring. And what you want to do is there's four screws. And you just basically want to take these apart. a little too far in there so we'll have to switch to something with a little bit of reach So those are all out. Now you just, this should just split in half. There we go. And you want to be careful when you open this up. There is a sticker on the back, so we're going to go ahead and void whatever kind of warranty it might have had. Not terribly worried about that. And then we'll just go ahead and leave this connected because it's honestly not important. And what we're looking for That's our steering. And this one is our... So we're just looking to see where... So the spring is right there and I'm gonna get a pair of tweezers to get it. All you need to do is reach down in here and remove it. I don't know where that piece went, but that works. So there's the spring, and now that will stay where I put it. Oh, there it is. So there was a little piece here, and again, we're just going to send this straight to recycle because we don't care about that. kind of cool that the board has a uh, I.O. header. It's got a uh, data input output clock 3.3 volt ground reset. So that's a programming interface. And then the switches come in here and your boards are multiplexed in through this and those are the switches on the other side. You know, it's a good basic little unit. Um, it's amazing what you can do these days. And then that's your radio, um, which be under the tin. So anyway, let's put it back in. Because that's all we needed to do in here.
I don't know, we're seeing any kind of antenna in that protrusion, so that's funny. So now we will install the rechargeable batteries back in here. There we go. So now I can direct the pan tilt zoom. I did feel a little bit of, there might be something loose in here. So I'm going to open it back up and make sure that there's not something naughty in there. And besides which, I want to look and see where that antenna was because I don't remember seeing it. You know, it's really amazing because Futaba used to charge an arm and a leg for their top technology, and they still do. And yet, the Turnigy, which is clearly Chinese, I mean, let's just call it what it is, it's Chinese junk. Um, it's a $60 six-channel radio. I mean, and that included the receiver. Those servos. Okay, there is an, so this is interesting. So there is an antenna up in here, but it looks like there might also be one there. So we got the two antennas, and if you really wanted to, you could change these antennas by simply, you know, you got one here and one there. You could replace these with something else, but keep in mind, those are tuned. All right. This should work just fine. So this is going to be the pan tilt zoom. And uh, anyway, so we need to figure out what are we catching on there because we're catching on something. I gotta look down in here. Just, there's something going on, but I can't tell what it is. of debris. Mm. 
Okay, so there's some kind of little plastic thing in there. Looks like there is a counterpoint. So let me show you guys what I'm looking at here. So there is a counterpoint to the spring that needs to come out of here. So let me turn this and get this out of here. And this is a good find. So we're going to have to dig a little deeper in order to get this out. And there is a risk of destroying this in the process, but I'm willing to take the risk. It's cheap and I can buy another one. But I'm only going to go as far as I think I need to go to fish this out. So I've got to go deeper. I've got to pop this thing out. And now we're in the real territory where we may take this apart and not get it back together. But I've been doing this long enough that I have a pretty good idea what I'm doing. So we're going to take this retainer completely off. There we go. That is what we wanted out of there because it was binding. So now we're going to try and put this back together. And I don't know if these were necessary. I don't think these had to come out, but they did. Sure would be nice if we could get that same kind of drag on the other side. So that is a throttle drag. And I guess the other side's just not going to have it. But the throttle drag is nice because that'll uh, set the angle of the camera. And 
this piece? Yeah, it is, it's going to get recycled. Whoops, on its way already. Okay, at this point, we've got drag for the up and down, but the left and right is completely free, so as we're steering, we can just kind of turn this where we need it to go. Okay, so the one side is still too loose, so there is a, a tension adjustment, and we're going to dig into it. It's a one and a half millimeter. So that's the other one. Well, first, we gotta find it. Well, it thinks. Yeah, I don't feel that. So I'm looking at the other side. thinking that if we just tighten this it might do what we want. Oh, Alright, so let's look at this some more.
Yeah, it's a perfect ball bearing there. So here we are back in Who Gives a Crap Land. Um, we're fixing to put hot glue right here and right here to slow it down. Hopefully we can gum it up. That's, that is the objective because there is not an adjustment um, to let us put some drag on there. And that's a shame. But I think this will give us the adjustment we're looking for. Um, and I'm going to look in here a little bit more because it's really not the best way to put this in. I'll look at it from the front and make sure there's not an adjustment that I'm just missing. So those can be removed. Yeah, it really is as simple as it looks. All right. So we're just going to add a dab of glue here and a dab of glue there. And I bet you that slows us way down. Or not. Didn't do a thing to it. Okay, so. Now what I'm doing is applying it to the sides because I'll get there eventually. That's what I wanted. Okay, so that was the solution. Is to apply a dab here and here with the opposite sides and that's going to gum me up and that's what I needed I just I need some drag in there I don't know how long that's going to last it actually seems to be pushing it out that sucks so I'm going to do something adventurous and I'm just going to pump a bunch of that in there. Um, and what I did this time is I just injected a bunch in there. And I'm going to go ahead and hit the other side. Alright, so I've probably done something unwise. I have filled this partially with um, hot glue. It will cool off here in a second. And in the meanwhile, I'll go ahead and put this back on. I'll seal my fate. Hot glue is a relatively weak adhesive, so what I'm banking on is that it isn't strong enough to completely freeze the mechanism. Uh, that's the screw that came out. That doesn't, we don't need that one anymore. Um, but it's weak enough that I can override it and it won't go anywhere. Worst case, I'll be picking this out with tweezers.
let's see. Well, I certainly gummed it up. I don't know how long that's going to last. But that's what I want to do. I just want to be able to gum this up so I can stick it somewhere and it'll hold. allows me to point the camera and have it basically stay where I put it. Alright, so that worked. And it still works. So now it's still squawking at me about place all switches in their up position and lower the throttle. All right, there we go. So there we go. Now we can go into uh, setup, but we're not going to right now. Battery's about half. Um, you know what? Yeah, we will. Alright, so we're there. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this video informative and remember that is a way to fix that problem. It's not perfect, but it'll work. I mean, there's still a little bit of play there. Uh, and this is gonna, the way that we're gonna set this up is this is gonna be steering, throttle, and then this is gonna be pan, tilt, zoom. So, or pan and tilt. So down, up, right, left.